Australia goes to the polls to decide the party which is to be entrusted with the nation's destiny for the next three years. After a vigorous campaign through every means of public communication, it's now up to the voters to decide the fate of each delegate. The two principal contestants, the Liberal Country Party and Labour, are equally hopeful of coming to power at this stage, but the people have a surprise in store for both camps. This chap seems to be having trouble making his decision. Fortunately, there are others like New South Wales Premier Heffron and Mrs Heffron and Federal Opposition Leader Corwell who have no doubts. And you could bet Parliament House to a credit squeeze how Treasurer Holt votes. After 14 years in the Prime Minister's office, Sir Robert Menzies can claim a distinguished record. When an official has difficulty finding his name on the roll, Sir Robert is delighted at the faux pas. But one thing's for sure, there'll be no faux pas on the Menzies ballot paper. Very early in the counting, it becomes apparent that the Liberals are sweeping back to power. A movie tone flashback recalls the election of the first Menzies government in 1949, here grouped with the then Governor General Sir William McKell at Parliament House. Today, Sir Robert leads the party to another substantial victory. He asked for an expression of public confidence and got it, even if at least one elector still couldn't quite make up his mind. Sydney's time.